How you doing guys? Welcome back. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. This guy is jittery on the mouse, so let me take control and behold what is on your screen here. It is the WZ-121 FT, the old Chinese TD. It doesn't have rocket launchers. If I had a rocket launcher, I would make this game stupid. It's driven by Obel26 from the BWOCZ clan. Shout out to you guys. Showing you games played by regular schmoes in tanks that um, are still decent but somewhat forgotten. What, what happened? What happened to World of Tanks, guys? What happened to the days where a tank destroyer was a kind of a box with a gun on it? And the job of a tank destroyer was trying to go out and destroy tanks. A little bit of armor in the front, you know. Not so much armor in the sides and the rear. Slightly balanced, I guess. Formidable from the front, but needed to be flanked. How did we get to the point where, well, let's update the game. And we'll make the tank destroyer, well, we'll, we'll put rocket engines on the, on the rear. So that when you try to flank them, it could... When did they come up with that? Alas, that's our game now, guys. So I'm showing you some replays from... Uh, shall we say... Semi-realistic? Like a, a more... Uh, believable uh, just Tim why is that little tank what is he doing what is that little tank doing there get out of the way boom yeah there you go this thing used to be the god Chinese TD right it used to be the god uh, high DPM good alpha right I mean good alpha what, what's the alpha 300 and what's the alpha uh, oh 440 alpha and then the premium shell with uh, 310 uh, penetration and 440 alpha. The god. Like, maybe it'll break the game with 440 alpha. Well, now they have a Chinese uh, premium TD. What does it have? 900 alpha? 800? Whatever. 1,000? What's the next one, Wargaming? Uh, 7,000 alpha with wheels. Hover a hovercraft? <laughs> Jet engines with a claw comes down and picks up the tank, <laughs> carries you off the battlefield. The object is to shoot it in the claw and disable its mechanism. You're like, come on, can we get to? <laughs> the game has become a shit show. We all know that, but we still watch because every now and then we get a few little gem games like the ones you're about to see today, and I prefer. You'll notice that on my channel here, guys, I have not uh, filled the channel with uh, BZ action. You know, the, the rocket engine, Chinese tank. Like, for Christ's sakes, and if you had to pick a nation that would have a rocket engine uh, on a tank, why the hell is it China? Like, holy shit. Give your of course, why? Because they're allies to the Russians, I guess. Come up with this shit. Chinese rocket tanks. But uh, you, you're not seeing uh, my channel filled with uh, rocket tank action or uh, the new. Uh, uh, the, the, I did a video on the Lion. Yeah, it's a, that seems like a okay tank, except for the fact that it's better than the Tech Tree tank. And, you know, the, the gimmick stuff. I'm showing you some games that are just. This reminds me of the good old days when you had to play your tank a certain way and the game was kind of made sense you know you had to point the gun at the enemies you had to aim like this and shoot you didn't just say oh well let me flank him use my rocket boost get in my new little french uh, light tank like this and almost flip over and then shoot your gun blink, blink, blink. what's that one then you you almost flip over, you pull up behind someone else. Blink, blink, blink! <laughs> What's the game become? 
I, uh, Wargaming, I volunteer to do the uh, crew uh, sounds for the next new tank, and we'll use the Mario voice. Aim. Oh, he's he's loaded a premium shell because he's got the... Uh, oh, and it still did not penetrate. And he's just furious. Did you see that, guys? He hit... Uh, uh, that was questionable whether it would penetrate because that tank, that TD, has pretty good armor. But he has 310 pen. And he did hit kind of the flat part in the, uh, in the superstructure. You have to go into tanks GG to see how you got screwed with that shot. Or you got to download the, uh, what is it called? He killed an invisible tank that, you know, just Wargaming said, you can't see that tank anymore. What's that mod? Battle hits. That's right. You got to go on battle hits and it'll tell you why that uh, shot didn't pen. It'll tell you that it hit somewhere else. <laughs> Do you know what you saw on your screen after you shot him? You shot him in the flat part of the superstructure and you didn't pen? Well, if you load battle hits, you'll see that you hit the track wheel. <laughs> but I did hit the track wheel. That's what battle hit says. Good, good. Learn to aim. Yeah. He made him pay for his stupidity and he high rolled. 466 and ooh, he got ammo racked. Which is not good, but he repaired it right away, and he's going to make him pay. You paid, you paid. And while I've ranted and uh, had some fun making the commentary so far, he is up to 4,697 damage. Okay. You, oh, right through the stupid sign. Doesn't that... Oh, he's behind the rock. It's okay. Oh, and he's exploded. Where could the last two pussies be? Oh, where, oh, where have the last two pussies gone? Oh, where, oh, where can they be? Two TDs hiding in the back of the map. Like the pussies they be. Don't go through the cap. All right. Go through the cap. Now they know where you are, I guess. Maybe it doesn't matter. Aim, 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 aim. Why did the circle get bigger just when he zoomed in? I don't understand that. Oh, because he zoomed in, and it's a bigger perspective. That's what it is. It didn't actually get bigger. It just got bigger relative to the screen he's looking at. That's all. It did. A optical illusion there, guys. I answered my own question. Sometimes you zoom in and the circle gets bigger. It's not your bloom increasing. It's because you are you zoomed in, so you're viewing a smaller area, cross-sectional area, and your circle is a bigger part of that cross-sectional area. It's the same size relative to the tank. It's just bigger relative to the whole picture. And he ends up with Ace Tanker. 6,211 damage, 6 kills. And he ekes out a big profit because he did not spam APCR LIGHT! What about a regular schmo who's playing a not very popular tank, the AMBT, Tier 8, finds himself in a Tier 10 game? regular schmo who is not running food who just has a good selection of regular and premium ammo small repair kit small first aid kit large fire extinguisher no directive no purple equipment time to roll out, time to roll out for you he's got some pretty fancy schmancy camo which i like here clan rivals beautiful in a very sexy looking tank i mean i love the way this tank looks I think it's it's a fairly mediocre tank. It just doesn't have the uh, the power of the Progetto. It's a three-shot autoloader, but it's just higher alpha, but longer reload, longer interclip time. It's just kind of like a slower, fatter, dumber Progetto that, if it happens to get behind you, does pack a little bit more of a punch, a little bit more armor. What's he going to do? He Well, he's immediately loaded uh, premium ammo which is understandable because he's got to shoot even this tier 8 opponent here which he did not shoot why didn't you shoot him I have no idea um, why wouldn't he have shot that I think he would have penned him and then back up and shoot him there you go that's why he was waiting for the fire he starts so flaming. that's why oh and he bounced out when the guy's angled and 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 ah oh. He didn't get spotted is another and he's done this guy's done some detecting for himself the enemies have pushed forward he's in his bush there you got to be careful if you get spotted here you're up on the this hill uh with your your weak spot fluttering flapping in the wind there guys 
And this guy is still moving forward. What is this guy doing? He's getting shot again. And now he's spotted. Look at that aim time and reload time. That's why this thing... You shouldn't have sat there. It was your own fault. You knew you would get spotted. But that's the perfect comparison there. Like a, the Progetto can shoot three times in the time it takes this to shoot once and then aim the second shot. And if you think I'm exaggerating, I'm not. Because the Progetto can like boom, boom, boom. A fairly... A, a Progetto with a good crew can... Uh, by the time the second shell is ready, it's aimed. Right? Uh, not as high an alpha, obviously. Uh, so you give up some armor and some alpha for uh, faster firing gun, better gun handling. But this thing is a little bit excruciating when you think you're going to play it like a projecto and you take that first shot and you say, oh, I got two more shots. Did you see how long it took him to even just aim the second shot? It was ready, but just to aim it fully so you don't miss? Excruciating, in my opinion. If you're not detected like this, you have time. See, he's got to wait, got to wait, got to wait. You see this? He's got to wait, wait till he's aimed. Even though he's loaded, he's got to aim. If you're undetected, it's fine. If you're in the open, uh, it's unless you're hull down perfectly. And now he's tr trying to bush himself. Oh, this aim time is excruciating, isn't it? Bush yourself. There you go. He's bushed himself. Now, if the Skoda makes a mistake, the Skoda's reloading. The Skoda's going to pull out when he's reloaded, I think. Move forward a bit so you spot him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. The Skoda must be loading. Let's just see if the Skoda's going to pull out. You want to pull out, Skoda. You want to pull out. You're not going to pen the VZ in the turret. He's just playing a support role here, guys. Don't say, oh, this is boring. He's camping at the back. He's tier 8. It's a tier 10 game. There, the Skoda's pulled out. And he wasn't ready. It's yes, there you go. And one more, just make a count, fully aim. Oh! Zoom in so that you're... There you go. Perfectly played. As a support vehicle in a tier 10 game. Not so bad, not so bad. You gotta like it. Even if he were to die right now, he could say, I help my team. I'm a bottom tier. I've done 2300 damage. Right. What's his HP? Uh, 1300. He's done more than his HP in damage. As bottom tier. His team can't ask for more. But they're going to get more. Because this guy's not done. This guy's not done. Let's just wait here. He's still being very cautious. He's just using the bushes really well. Does he have a shot on the VZ there? I think you have a shot on the VZ. Put your little... Put your marker on the VZ. What, what you do... I'll go into third person here. You put your... Your marker on the visa to see if you have an outline but he's not doing that uh, i'm not sure if the visa is behind uh, cover there or not he's got to just yeah okay he doesn't have the gun depression to do it but you can still put your central marker on there i can't in third person but he can there you go see now he knows he's got the side of the turret and it's not going to pen okay he tried he tried but the uh, the vz turret is too strong is too strong 7-7 seven, seven is the score. They're losing by a 1,000 um, HP. Oh, there's a BZ. Okay, okay. Get, get into the low ground so that guy doesn't show you. Is he going to go for the BZ? Go for the BZ. Oh, I want to see him take on a BZ-176. Bounce his shell and then pump. Oh, he got spotted. That's not good. Now he's got to worry about getting shot by that AMX over there. Because he got spotted. And he knows this. Uh, do you just... The enemies control the forest now, so he could get shot from his right side. Because he's been spotted, they know he's here. Uh, that AMX should shoot him. But he's going to try anyway to, to shoot this guy. Yes. What are you doing? He's just in the bushes. What, what are you... He's designed... Okay, he's, what are you doing? Okay, he's going to go for the scorpion. Who spotted you and shot you, but you've tracked him. Boom! He's got two shots on the You got to get out of there, buddy! The bushes won't save you. And that's the second time he um, he allowed himself to be shot after he was spotted for sure. But that's okay. He's up to almost 3,000 damage and he scoots into cover here. Scoot, well, as fast as he can scoot. And now let's see if he can pump a shot into the CC. No, or is he going to go for the BZ? 
Okay, he's getting he's gone over the hump on the other side so that the guys on his right can't shoot him. You see that now? He's protected from the scorpion and then the AMX. This is a good strategy. He's, he's gone around the other way. Now let's see if he can put a, three shots into the BZ without getting hit by the scorpion. Can he? Can he? Yes. One. No. That, that, I don't know. That ghost shell, that didn't even register as a bounce. The Progetto has committed himself. The BZ has turned around. You can go pump two shots into him, buddy. You can pump two shots into him. Ah, come on. He took too long going for the reload. That's okay. Well done, Progetto. You notice the Progetto just so much more maneuverability. So much more fun to play. He made the BZ uh, look like a fool. Uh, BZ was going to break the game, remember? <coughs> it's broken. Uh, he looked like a fool in that play. Progetto wins versus the BZ. Maneuverability. And the BZ turns on its rocket launchers and goes straight. Can't turn. Dumb mechanic. I don't know why they put that in the game, but hey. Mario! Okay. He's up to 3,741 damage, guys. And the enemies have won the uh, the Magic Forest. They won the Magic Forest. Daddy, we won the forest. Unfortunately, after they won the forest, they didn't do anything. After winning the forest, some of them could have come back they, come back north and, and scooted across the A-line to put these guys in a crossfire, but they did not do that. Maybe because they were low on HP and they were too scared. Or maybe because they don't really know how to play the game very well. Whatever the reason is, they won the forest, a full HP AMX wins the forest, and then just sits there, which is just strange. Ready to fire, ready to fire, ready to fire. One, two. <laughs> I guess he didn't play that very eloquently. He did not, but he is avenged by his teammate. And there's one last AMX cowering in the forest. Daddy, I think the enemies are going to come and shoot me. And the game is over. Let's check the post-game stats. There goes a projecto again. The scooting projecto. It just didn't do anything. <laughs> what is the projecto doing? Driving around like a clown. Oh, they all this. They don't know what they're doing, guys. Look at this. This is crazy. The projectiles driving around like a clown. Hey. So you would be happy with that, wouldn't you guys? Bottom tier, tier 8 in a tier 10 game. And he ends up on top with 4,392 damage. Well done, my friend. Well done. Did he make some credits? Yes, he did. Even though he did shoot nothing but premium. But he was shooting higher tier targets. Two regular schmoes having great games. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Help the channel grow. And I hope you enjoyed it. Leave some comments and I will catch you guys on the next one.